So what I have here is a uh, Lemon RX receiver and my Fox glider for stabilization just as a test bed. Um, the activation is set up on the gear channel, so that's, I guess that's channel 5. And um, without flaps, it would be activated um, with just the gear. But I have flaps installed, so to turn everything on, you have to set your pins properly. Only. This is a different one that's shown on RC groups. So if you see that, there's the pins. And I basically had to turn some stuff on there. You can see them down in there. Um, and once I did that, then the stabilization came on. So right now, because the, uh, the flaps are down a little bit, stabilization is off. But as soon as I put the flaps up, now it's on. So And if I didn't have the uh, flaps installed, I'll show you that in a second, and it goes off the uh, gear switch. It's pretty cool. So you can turn it on and off. Uh, but I mean, I can turn this off right now just by dropping the flaps just a quarter, and, and then everything's off. So stand by, and I'll, I'll show you the gear one. All right, now I have it set up on the, uh, on the gear switch alone. So if you look at the receiver, I am. Uh, flaps are removed. When I hit the gear, it goes from red to green. So red means stabilization is off. Green means it's armed and ready to go. So if you're just using a basic four channel setup, look at that. And everything works. So um, I haven't flown it yet. It's been raining here in South Florida. But the, uh, the receiver works well, and the nice thing is you can put it anywhere in an, any orientation in the aircraft. It'll find itself. Um, I also piggyback a satellite receiver on it. It gives me a little more range, as this antenna only has one receiver, so not has or one antenna wire. Um, this is a DSM X model, and I use a DSM X nine radio so it uh, works real well. I'll let you know how it works uh, in the air. But uh, so far so good.